Now, to a lot of people, what I'm going to say is new information. We are so used to hearing that salt's bad for the heart. It's going to cause a heart attack. It's going to cause stroke. So make sure you don't overdo it on your salt. Well, that is absolutely positively not true. A very credible large study called the Peer Study stirred up a lot of controversy. There's over 137,000 people involved in 18 countries, 667 communities. So it was a very broad population all over the place. And this is what they found. If you're consuming less than three grams of sodium per day, you could be at risk for getting a heart attack and a stroke. Now take a look at this graph that I have right here. The World Health Organizations and, and many other organizations have been recommending to keep your salt in the low range between 2.0 and 2.4 grams. That's one teaspoon per day. Well, it just so happens that falls within the risk factor of getting a heart attack. That is considered low sodium. And based on this study, which I'm going to put a link down below, the optimum range of sodium is between four and five grams. That's four to five teaspoons of salt. Apparently, you have the least amount of heart attacks compared to either too low or even too high. And they also incidentally found that potassium is very protective on the heart. The more potassium you have, the less heart attacks you have. And I've been saying that for a long time. Potassium is very, very important, especially for blood pressure, even your kidneys. I mean, the only uh, contraindications, I'm sure there's a few others for potassium, is uh, if you're stage five kidney failure. In that condition, of course, you don't want to consume that much potassium. But for most people, potassium is protective on the kidney, the heart, and definitely will help your blood pressure. Now the question is why? Well, when you actually lower your sodium, you increase a hormone called aldosterone. That's from your adrenals. And if aldosterone is too high, uh, you can have a lot of problems, especially with blood pressure, uh, especially damage to the heart. There's even a class of high blood pressure medication that inhibits aldosterone. Okay, why? Because they found that the higher the aldosterone, the higher the blood pressure. So in summary, don't be afraid of salt, especially if it's sea salt. I recommend a very good quality sea salt. Himalayan sea salt is a really good one, but there's many others. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.